The Build Show is in Baltimore for the Remodeling and Deck Expo, and we're gonna do a series of videos from best of and what's cool. But on today's episode, I ran into a builder friend of mine, Kyle, from up, RR man? Buildings. If you don't know Kyle, he's a custom post frame builder outside of Chicago. He's done some amazing work. He's got a killer Instagram feed. He started on YouTube a year ago, and he's already yeah. catching up to me after my nah. 10 years on YouTube. Nah. You should check out Kyle's content. But Kyle, as a post framer, it's kind of fortuitous that we ran into each other right at this booth where they're talking about how to set posts. Yeah, what is I've, this, Carl? I seen this viral video on Facebook and I had you know, no inkling to actually go look for it, but I turned the corner and you're here <laughs> doing a build show, so. So Kyle, this is meant to replace concrete. It, it looks like some kind of expanding foam product. What you got here is a sauna tube. This would be the ground level and what they're showing is this foam will expand and seal this post and replace the concrete that you'd normally pour in there. Pretty interesting, huh? Yeah, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. I wanna see this thing kind of work, but what what's appealing to me is I spent the last few years like looking for ways to get rid of embedded posts in the post frame world, yep. because you get concrete and it rots that post. Yep. They're telling us that this is gonna seal that post off and allow you to still dig your hole, set your post, and not worry about the rot. Yep. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, so my assumption is this is a two-part component foam. You know, this is polyurethane foam, kind of like we spray in our houses, right? There's part A and part B in the bag, and there's a little clip that separates them, and it, and it comes in a, a bigger plastic bag, but all you gotta do is, whoa, I almost put out an eye there. Do is, whoa, I almost put out an eye there. So now there's two parts there. You take it over a sawhorse, and all we're doing for 30 seconds is we're just mixing this bag up and flip it over and keep mixing. It's kind of like we're shining our shoes here. And we're just making sure the part A and the part B are together. What do you think, I think it's been 30 seconds? That's I think so. That's gotta be pretty close. And then there's a rip-off tab. I put some gloves on, because you don't want to get this on you. I've ruined many a uh, clothing before with, with uh, polyurethane foam. And then all we're gonna do is pour it in here. Now they made a little plastic, uh, oops, sorry, thanks Kyle. We, yeah, let me get that. And we're gonna coat the outside of the post as it's above grade too, because that polyurethane's waterproof. And check that out, it kind of gathers at the bottom. And this is some kind of, I don't know, slow rise foam probably. Yeah, it's just sitting there at the bottom and it's slowly coming up, you can see it now. And they say that this two and a half pound bag of foam, not much in there, is gonna replace 60 pounds of concrete. Let's see how long this takes to rise. The other interesting thing is we were talking about this, Kyle, is yeah. what size posts are you typically using on your jobs? Uh, typically like a three ply two by six or a three ply two by eight column. Okay, and then when you use that size, how much concrete are you putting in that hole? Well, it depends, I mean a third of a yard. So okay, a third of a yard. third of a yard to fill up our tubes usually. So you might need, what, three or four bags of this? Three to four bags. What is the cost? Did they say the cost? They told me the cost might be like 10 to 15 bucks a bag. So 30 bucks a hole. 30 bucks a hole. I mean, concrete is a lot more money than How that. How much are you paying a concrete 120? yard? 120. Yeah, that's, we're that's like 130 cheap. a yard yeah. in Texas. So that's... this is pretty comparable to concrete. And what about like working time so they say 15 minutes 15 minutes so you're ready to work but supposedly two minutes of being able to move the post now this is just a hole as if we dug a post base yeah now you happen to have a level with you by any chance oh i, I literally carry a stabila oh, crazy he's all got a stabila in his so pocket. we can work this we can make sure that it is level plum plum you know plum, we yeah. the right terminology plum, sorry. It's when level with it level yeah. is this way yes. plum and 15 minutes from now, you can build on this. Yeah, you're ready to go. If this was a four by four fence post, you could start laying your cedar fence boards right now. Yeah. 15 minutes. That's pretty impressive product. Most people are gonna ask you though, probably what is the strength? How yeah. does it compare? And they're saying three to 4,000 pounds of uplift force before it sheared the post. Yeah. Didn't, didn't pull it out, it sheared it. Yeah, they, they used the Bob, we saw some testing on a, a data sheet where they used a Bobcat and a backhoe. After this was all set, they're pulling the post out and before they could get the post out, the post would actually shear off. The wood was not strong enough to pull this out. It was that strong in there. It's crazy, dude. It's pretty cool, man. I think this could be the future. I'm constantly being amazed that no matter how hard you try to get better, you think you got it, and then something's developed. 
that maybe blows it out of the water. You don't know. That's you pretty know? wild. It's crazy. And it's fun to go to a show like this and see something you didn't expect. Mm. It's pretty cool. That's cool. Guys, if you don't know Kyle, look for a link in the description for both his Instagram feed and his YouTube video. He's got some incredible videos, including a series that's absolutely blowing up on how to build a garage. Plus, he built Jimmy DiResto's shop uh, up in yeah. New York not that long ago. So he's got some awesome videos. You should definitely be following Kyle. Thanks, buddy. And we've talked for a while about collaborating on something. So hopefully you'll see him on my channel in the future. Awesome. Thanks, Matt. Follow Kyle. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time from the Baltimore Remodeling and Deck Expo. It's the Build Show.